What's up everybody and welcome back to the Goal 60. So yesterday all we had were unofficial plays. Ended up with four of them as Detroit did become a play. It actually was the only winner of the four. So three B bets on the unofficials today and then we've got a whole host of official and unofficial plays starting up today for the weekend. So we'll jump into all that real quick and we'll start off with the official plays. So just to start off, there was nine plays or potential plays that start off today. Nine different series that are getting going. Uh, we ended up with three for sure being un or official. And then we've got two that we're waiting on prices for that could be official plays. And then, of course, the other four will be unofficial. So a whole host of plays getting going today, which means a lot of opportunity for us, a lot of opportunity for making some profit. So let's talk about the official plays first. So the first one that we definitely have is in the New York Mets and St. Louis Cardinals game. The Mets are at .514 while the Cardinals are at .560. So if you look at the uh, Cardinals on their price, they're minus 148, so it's right there in our range. And that will be the first play we go with. So Cardinals minus 148 at home against the Mets. The next one will be the Giants and the Pirates. The Giants are at .485 while the Pirates are at .524. You look at the price here and the Pirates are at minus 111. So this game is somewhere around a pick em. It's according to what book you're looking at. You may get a few, gen a few cents better in the juice. But uh, Pirates minus 111 is what we're going with next. Toronto and Oakland are the next official play. And Toronto is at .484 while Oakland is at .511. You look at price, and Oakland is minus 133, and um, we're going to be going with them for our third official play. Now, that is all three. We're going to go for 1.5 units on all three of them, um, and also, I would say, I'll talk about the two that just barely missed out. So far, all three of those are home teams. The next one up is also a home team. It's Boston and Tampa Bay. Boston is in the bottom three of the RPI, which is kind of surprising. Um, I think they'll get it going, but I think that, you know, it's going to take a little bit. They've got to start playing better as a team. So hopefully they keep that trend going and we get a play out of this on Tampa Bay. So Boston's .432 in the bottom three, as I said, and Tampa Bay's in the top three at .560. So you look at Tampa Bay and right now there's just not a price. I have a feeling this is going to be a an official play. I, I'm not sure what the price will be. I don't know if it'll be... I figure they will be actually a favorite since they're home and they're also a lot better team right now. So we'll have to see. But then again, you get all that public perception on Boston. So we'll see what happens there. And then finally, the other game that did not have a price so far is in the Diamondbacks and Cubs. Now, of course, there is a price out on the money line. The Cubs are favored. The Diamondbacks are at .518, while the Cubs are .486. So we're looking at the Diamondbacks, and them being an underdog, we're looking at taking the run line. It has not come out yet, but when it does come out, I feel like that game is going to be somewhere around on the run line, be around minus 130 to 140, something like that in that range, because right now they're a plus 142 underdog. So somewhere in that range, which will make it an official play on the Diamondbacks, We'll just have to wait and see when it does post. So that is all five of the ones that could potentially become official plays this weekend. Now we'll talk about the unofficial plays. So before we go into any new unofficial plays, let's recap the ones from yesterday that started up in four game series. Uh, Tigers did win as I stated at the first of the video. The only the other three are going again today. And that is Philadelphia who is actually an underdog today. You're looking at the run line at minus 165. Uh, Milwaukee, who's an underlying, underdog, and you're looking at the run line at minus 150. It's around the same things it was yesterday. And also, the Angels, as a favorite, at almost the same price as they were yesterday, around minus 117, minus 118, something like that. So that's the three that will be on B-bets as unofficials. Now let's talk about the new series that got picked up. The first one is Atlanta and Cleveland. Atlanta's at .475, while Cleveland is at .525. You look at the price here, and it's just right outside of our range. It's at minus 161, so it's not too far out. Some books even have it minus 160, minus 159. But it's just it seems to be heading 
up in my opinion so therefore we're not going to mess with it because I was afraid that maybe by the time some of you are watching this video it would be even higher and I didn't want to you know if it's on the line like that and we can see that it may be moving up we're going to pass but anyways Cleveland minus 161 currently is going to be the first unofficial play the next one is Washington and Miami and this one got uh, thrown out because of a um, parameter that we I don't believe we've used yet this year but it's one of those that it's like the final step in the process Washington is at .552 while Miami is the bottom team the RPI at .372 you look at uh, price and Washington is minus 121 which I know is really low for this game but you've got to think about the weekend this is the back of their rotation Scherzer's coming up tomorrow and against a low Miami team, I got a feeling this price is going to be minus 200 or even better. So therefore, we're taking the risk out of it, and we're going to pass on that. We're going to make it an unofficial play. After that, we've got Minnesota and Baltimore. Minnesota's at .519. Baltimore's at .430. Look at price, minus 182 on Minnesota. Therefore, obviously not a, uh, not a play for us. After that, the last one is Houston, who is in the top three of the RPI at .610, while Texas is at .543. You look at the price here, minus 232 on Astros. I know they're hot right now. They've, I think they've won 10 out of 11, and those 10 were straight wins. Um, so I understand them being hot. They're also a better team, and I, so I see the price for sure, but it was a definite pass even when I seen it to write it down. That was going to be a series to be played. I knew it was going to be pretty expensive. And that's everything I've got. Um, like I said, we're waiting on those prices to come out for uh, the Diamondbacks and also Tampa Bay. I feel like we're definitely going to get a play with the Diamondbacks. I'm going to wait and see what happens with this Tampa Bay game, see what they're thinking there, see where they're leaning. I haven't seen a line on that yet, so we'll see. It is really early on Friday morning. I appreciate you watching this. Uh, vlog and I will see you tomorrow make sure you like and subscribe and also good luck no matter no matter if you follow fade or pass see you tomorrow sixty percent of the time it works every time